All right, let's go. You want to learn how to get an agent in four steps? Watch this video. We doing it so big, man. We yeah. got all kind of shit going on. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't got no whip. Driven by my ambition. Said I can't ball. Called me a midget. Thought I had that switch. But I was just wishing. But I had to switch up like street lights. I don't get to talk shit. All right, step one is this video. You have to learn how to treat your career like a business, all right? Even though the idea sounds charming, an agent isn't likely to just discover you if you're not doing any work or just waiting for the phone to ring. So make sure you're putting yourself out there. Take my acting class, take my e-course, but also get you some parts and plays in indie films, which are way more likely to be able to get booked because you don't need an agent to get those auditions and add that to your portfolio. Okay, make sure that you have a range of headshots for different roles, create your video demo reel, have a website where all your material can have a home. From there, you can make a presence known on social media. And every time you have new projects, promote them. Your promotion feeds back not only to the projects, but also to your own website and promotion and tag these casting directors, tag these agencies. Maybe also become your own producer, okay? Cast yourself in skits or invite potential agents to your own performance. Maybe you'll do something like, think of Emma Stone in La La Land, right? Those are the, your baseline things to do. The basic toolkit of stuff you must have to be a serious actor. It's no different this, than a plumber who learns his craft, gets his tools, and sets up a web presence and promotes himself. So you need to do the same thing. Treat your career like a business, and then you're ready for agent. So number two, research, research, research. Look, there's a lot of agents out there, and there's a lot of agencies. Sometimes the size are larger, sometimes they're small boutiques, and just thinking about all of that could be daunting. APA has 3,400 clients and 325 employees. That's 210 agents and 15 managing partners. ICM and CAA have thousands of clients, which makes the research an essential part of this process. You can use the free listings on casting direct listings to learn more about agents and agencies, along with other lists that are out there. Listen, you could pay for lists, but casting direct listing CDL has a free list. I encourage you to check out their list. Now, what to look for? When you're looking for an agent, you're looking for somebody that fits you and your character type. Also, where you want to go. So there's a balance. That means if you're a New York theater actor, your dream is to be on Broadway. Why would you try to get a Los Angeles commercial agent? You should be looking for a theatrical agent, right? Exactly. Also, if you have limited credits, you don't have a lot of work, you're going to get lost at a huge agency like a CAA or a 3A. Or, excuse me, uh, 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 A3. So you have to... Think in terms of, of, of where you are and where you're trying to go. Remember, if you read all the other articles on CDL or if you, you've taken my course, then you understand that there's multiple agents. You might need to get a few working for you at the same time. So keep that in mind. That's number two. Number three, tap into your network. If you know people that know people, ask other people. It's funny how humans respond to other people. It's just another email or faceless voice. It's hard to get anywhere. Trust me, but you're an actor. You love being in front of people. Talk. Talk, 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 talk to people. Here's a trick. Us humans have what we call social etiquette, also known as social training or set etiquette. How are we so sloppy at home, but at a fast food restaurant, we've been trained to throw our food out and put the tray away, okay? So that's etiquette. Or we hold the door for other people. These are social graces. Use them. Make the world know you're looking for an agent, but do it tactfully. If you attend the audition, ask around. Let the casting directors know you're in the market for an agent of your own. They might suggest some names. You never know. Ask other actors. Ask people you know. Ask colleagues, your acting teacher, me, your vocal coach. Look, most people in the industry either have or have heard of agents they will recommend. So don't be afraid to open up your mouth. You know the saying, the closed mouth doesn't get fed. If someone suggests someone specific, ask for a referral. It'll make your life a lot easier and it'll make it easier for you to get through that door. Oh, and here's one more thing. If you just go up to someone, and right away, ask them for a referral. They'll be scared, they'll be intimidated, and they may just back off completely. But if you already engage in a cool, calm, collected conversation, and somehow you're like, wow, look, I'm really struggling in this department. You think you might recommend or be able to put me in the right direction? Most people will feel sorry for another human being and just help. They'll hum and haw, they'll think about it, and when looking into your big, sad, hopeful actor eyes, they'll probably come up with someone for you to contact. So. Look, the golden rule is network, okay? Use your circle and, you know, using someone else's name to get in the door is the best way to get seen. 
If you heard about one of the agents from a friend or a colleague and, you know, they have a great rapport with that agency, say, hey, Marquise recommended me. Um, but have the chops. Make sure that you're good. That's number three. It's number four. Time to submit. Once you have a list of agents you like to work with and referrals, submit your cover letter, your headshot, and any other supporting material. By supporting material, I mean demo reels, I mean TikTok reels, anything that'll support the fact that you're up and coming and you're somebody that they should check out. Make sure to choose the right agency to submit to based on where you currently are in your career, location, location, location. All that shit matters. On the CDL, that's the cast and director list, check it out. Find a range of ways that people like to receive their submissions. They'll tell you, check out the cast and director list. Look up these casting directors. Literally, they'll give you notes about what they want from actors and from individual agents. Some prefer that you go through their website form. Others are particular about email addresses. Less are snail mail friendly nowadays. But then again, some prefer that method so they have a hard copy. If you don't hear back from an agent you want to work with, don't give up. Don't get discouraged. Don't feel like they don't like you. Nine times out of ten is not personal. Submit again in a couple months. Do more. Uh, step up your numbers. Remember, agents often rotate their talent roster. So next time, they might look at you with fresh eyes. Also, by then, you should be blowing up on your own. So don't sit by the phone waiting. Make this shit happen. This is Marquise Moore Presents, and I hope this helps. I'm a man on a mission. Like a chef in the kitchen. Ain't got no whip. Driven by my ambition.